Hello and welcome back. I'm here today with a 2022 Audi Q4 e-tron Quattro. I'm on Audi's media drive for the Q4 in Oceanside, California. Just completed the normal drive of the day and usually we bring the cars back and then they charge them up and we have a nice dinner and everything. But I asked Audi for special permission for me to drive this thing down to zero so I can record a zero to 100% DC fast charging session with the Q4. And thankfully, Audi agreed. Thank you, Audi, for letting me have this baby for a little bit longer than everybody else. So I did just that. I drove it down to zero. Now I'm gonna plug it in to a 150 kilowatt Electrify America DC fast charger. Now I'm using a 150 kilowatt unit because the maximum charging power on the Q4 is 150 kilowatt. Has the same battery as the Volkswagen ID4. It's an 82 kilowatt hour total capacity battery of that 77 kilowatt hour is usable. It has a slightly higher charging rate than the ID4. When the ID4 launched, it could accept up to 125 kilowatt. But last year, uh, Volkswagen had a uh, software update and now the ID4s can accept 135 kilowatt. But the Q4 e-tron can accept a little bit more. It's a premium vehicle. So I guess Audi decided they needed to push up that maximum charge rate. What it really does is it makes the estimated 5% to 80% charge rate about two minutes faster than the ID4. It's really not that much. But we're gonna see if the e-tron, the Q4 e-tron lives up to its charging promises right now with our full charge recording. As always, we're gonna make some graphs. We'll analyze the charging curve, the time to charge, and all that good stuff as we always do. But first, don't forget, please click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on State of Charge. This video is powered by QMerit, North America's leading provider of installation services for electric vehicle charging, home energy storage, and other electrification technologies. See how QMerit is making the energy transition easy for home and business owners by following the link in the description of this video. So as I mentioned, a couple of months ago, I attended the Audi Q4 e-tron first drive media event. And that's when I did the DC fast charge recording. But there are other ways you can charge an Audi Q4 e-tron. So first, let's talk about those ways before we jump into the DC fast charge recording. Now, I also wanna mention that here in North America, we're gonna get three different versions of the Q4. So let's take a look at those first. The base model is called the Q440 e-tron, and it's a rear wheel drive model. It has the longest EPA range rating, which is 265 miles. And then there's the Q450 e-tron Quattro, which is the all wheel drive version, and what I was driving for this DC fast charge recording video. That has an EPA range rating of 236 miles. Then there's a Sportback version, and that's called the Q450 e-tron Sportback Quattro, which has an EPA range rating of 242 miles per charge. Now the charging times for all three versions of the Q4 will be identical because they all have the same battery. It's 82 kilowatt hour total capacity, 77 kilowatt hour usable capacity. In Europe, there's a smaller battery option, but we're not getting that smaller battery here in North America. Okay, so let's talk about the charging times. I'm gonna leave DC fast charging for last because that's what the bulk of this video is about. Now the Q4 e-tron, all versions, come standard with a dual voltage portable charger. That allows you to plug into either a regular 120 volt household outlet or a NEMA 1450 outlet, which is a 240 volt outlet that can charge the e-tron a lot faster. Now, if you do use the 120 volt adapter and plug into a regular household outlet, It'll charge the Q4 e-tron, but it's gonna take a really long time. That's because regular household outlets don't deliver a lot of energy. If you were to fully charge from zero to 100%, 
a Q4 e-tron from a regular 120 volt outlet, it would take more than two days. It would actually end up taking somewhere around 55 hours to fully recharge it. Now here in this video, we are gonna talk about fully recharging the Q4 e-tron from zero to 100%. However, in real world situations, owners are almost never gonna do that. You typically drive whatever in a day, 40, 50 miles. When you come home, you plug in, you're only replenishing what you use that day. But for the purpose of this video, everything we talk about is zero to a 100%. So you have a full picture of how long it charges on the different levels of charging. Okay, so that was 120 volt charging, which, you can do in a pinch if you really need to, but most Q4 e-tron owners are gonna wanna be able to charge a vehicle a little bit quicker at home. Now, for that, you can use the portable charging cable that was supplied, and then you use the NEMA 1450 adapter, and you can plug into a NEMA 1450 outlet, which is 240 volt, like this outlet here. This is a NEMA 1450 outlet, and you'd be able to charge your e-tron with that. If you were to do that, it would take about nine hours to fully recharge from zero to 100%. Now, if that's not fast enough for you, you can also purchase a 48 amp charger and have it mounted to the wall like I have my Tesla wall connector here. This is actually a 48 amp charger. So this would be able to deliver the maximum power the Q4 each run can accept, which is about 11 kilowatts. So if you were to buy a 48 amp charger, and I've reviewed many of them here on this channel, you could purchase any of them because they all use the industry standard J1772 connector, which will charge the e-tron. That would cut your charging time down from the nine hours that the supplied charging cable can, can charge it down to seven and a half hours. So that's the fastest the e-tron, uh, Q4 e-tron will charge from zero to 100% on a level two charging source is seven and a half hours. And for that, you do need a 48 amp charger. Okay, so now let's jump into the full recording of the e-tron on a 150 kilowatt Electrify America DC fast charger. After we look at the full recording in time-lapse, I'm gonna to jump to some of the charts that we do where we really analyze its DC fast charging capability. Now, heads up here, Audi promises, as I said earlier, 36 minutes from five to 80%. Now, think about that when compared to the level two and level one charging that we talked about here, 55 hours to fully recharge on a 120 volt outlet either seven and a half or nine hours, depending on if you have a 40 amp unit or 48 amp unit for level two charging. We're talking hours here, but with DC fast charging, we're talking minutes from five to 80% in 36 minutes. So let's see how the Q4 e-tron did when I charged it in person. The Q4 immediately pulls 133 kilowatt as soon as I plug it in, which is a great start. And the charging rate gradually climbs up to a peak of 141 kilowatt, which happens after 10 minutes of charging. Now I never saw the peak charging rate of 150 kilowatt that Audi promises, but we did get very close. The Q4 then begins to ramp down its power intake over the next 10 minutes before leveling out at about 85 kilowatt once it hits 50% state of charge, which happens in about 19 minutes. I'm stopping the video here to discuss what's gone on so far. The Q4 had a pretty good start and added back 30% of its 77 kilowatt hour usable battery capacity in just 10 minutes. But that's when it peaked and was drawing less than 100 kilowatt after only 15 minutes of charging. Now on the plus side, the vehicle was at 44% charged in just 15 minutes, which isn't bad, but I'd really like to see the Q4 hold a high charge rate deeper into the pack. Honestly, with this size battery pack, I would expect to see it hold 100 kilowatt to at least 75% state of charge. I'm gonna start the recording back up now, but speed it up a little because this is when the vehicle is taking in much less power. After 30 minutes of charging, the Q4 is at 69% state of charge and 75% is reached in 35 minutes. Now after 38 minutes of charging, 
The Q4 is at 80% charge. Now, if you recall, I said earlier that Audi promises a DC fast charge time of 5 to 80% in 36 minutes. I was able to charge the Q4 from 0 to 80% in 38 minutes, just two minutes longer. And we did that without ever reaching the vehicle's maximum charging rate, which confirms to me that Audi's charge time estimate is accurate as long as you're charging in warm weather. As with all EVs, the Q4 will charge slower when the battery is colder in the winter months. Now we reach 90% state of charge in 49 minutes, 95% in 55 minutes, and the Q4 is fully charged and the charging session ends after one hour and four minutes of charging. All right, so let's look at the charging summary. The station dispensed 81.44 kilowatt hour. Now like the ID4, the Audi Q4 e-tron's battery's usable capacity is 77 kilowatt hour. While I did drive it down to where it said 0% state of charge, the vehicle was still driving, so there was still some energy left in the battery. So we probably really added back about 75 kilowatt hour to the battery, and the additional six and a half kilowatt hour can be attributed to charging losses. The entire session took one hour and four minutes and cost nothing. It would have cost $34.84 had I been charging as a guest without an Electrify America charging plan. But since this was a media drive, Audi had the charging covered under its personal account, so the balance was zero. Now, when that happens, the displayed fee is always the higher non-member Electrify America rate, which is why we see 43 cents per kilowatt hour. If I were charging here with my Electrify America Pass Plus account, I would have paid 31 cents per kilowatt hour. And this charging session would have cost me $25.25. Now the Pass Plus account does cost $4 a month. But as you can see here, if you use it just once a month, the fee is more than covered. Now I'm mentioning this because I frequently do these charge recordings with the manufacturer's account being billed and the higher price is always displayed. And I sometimes get comments about how expensive it is to charge EVs. So I wanted to let the viewers know that you probably wouldn't be paying what's displayed there if you had a Pass Plus account and an Audi Q4. It would have actually cost about 30% less than what's displayed on the screen here. Okay, so Audi's promise of 36 minutes from five to 80% seems reasonable to me. We were able to pretty much duplicate it here on this full charge recording. And from zero all the way up to 100%, just about an hour, that's not bad. It's not great, and um, we're gonna get into exactly what I think Audi can do to improve it later on, especially when we get into the charts that we're gonna go into now. But, you know, the Q4 e-tron isn't a bad charging electric vehicle. There's room for improvement, but it's not terrible. And especially if you're able to plug in at a low state of charge and only charge for about 20 or 30 minutes, you're getting a decent amount of energy in that time. All right, so now let's take a look at our charging power chart where we go over the full charging curve. When we're done with that, we're gonna look at the time to charge chart where we're gonna see how long it takes to add 100 miles of range 200 miles of range, and then also how many miles per minute are added throughout the charging session. Okay, so let's look at the charging power chart. This gives us the full charging curve of the Q4. As you can see, when I plug in the Q4, it immediately pulled about 135 kilowatt and slowly climbed up to the peak of 141 kilowatt here at 30% state of charge. Now I never saw the maximum charge rate of 150 kilowatt, but that didn't seem to affect the time to charge much because we did hit Audi's promised five to 80% charge time. However, that's when things start to go south. Unlike the larger e-tron, the Q4 e-tron doesn't hold its maximum charging rate for long. And after only 10 minutes of charging, it's already derating here and drops below 100 kilowatt at the 15 minute mark when the Q4's state of charge is 44%. Now it continues to drop down to about 85 kilowatt and holds that for a few minutes until the state of charge is 60% before beginning another gradual drop down to about 65 kilowatt, which it holds to about 82% state of charge. That's when it begins a nearly linear descent 
until the Q4 is fully charged. The one thing I will say was good though, was that the vehicle was still accepting 30 kilowatts at 99% state of charge. Some EVs, particularly the ones that don't have a good sized upper end battery buffer, slow the charge rate down to under 10 kilowatt at the end, and it takes forever to get from 95% to 100% charged. That isn't the case with the Q4. What I'd really like to see is the Q4 be able to hold its maximum charge rate longer, like its big brother the e-tron can. If the charging curve looked more like this, I believe the 5 to 80% charging time would be closer to 30 minutes. And quite honestly, charging to 80% in 30 minutes or less on a DC fast charger should be an industry standard in 2023. All right, so now let's take a look at the time to charge chart. On this chart, we have the time charging in minutes on the X axis and the state of charge on the Y axis. What you wanna see on this chart is an aggressive vertical climb, which does happen during the first 10 minutes when the Q4 was charging at 140 kilowatt. Now, if the vehicle could have continued at the same rate it was charging at during the first 10 minutes, it would have been 100% charged in about 33 minutes. But that's not how DC fast charging works. And as the state of charge increases, the charge rate decreases. So let's look at how long it took the Q4 to reach some milestones. We reached 20% state of charge in six minutes, which is really good. And then 40% state of charge in 13 minutes, also good. But now it starts slowing up a bit. 60% took 24 minutes. We reached 80% state of charge in 38 minutes, and we were fully 100% charged in 64 minutes. Now let's talk about driving range added and how long it took to add 100 miles and 200 miles. For this, I'm gonna use the 236 mile EPA range rating of the Q450 e-tron Quattro, which is the version I drove. The other two, Q4 e-trons have slightly different EPA range ratings, so their time to add miles is going to be a little different. Not much really, but it is worth mentioning. The Q450 e-tron Quattro added 100 miles of driving range in 15 minutes, and it added 200 miles after 42 minutes of charging. And finally, I like to calculate the miles added per minute of charging. And I always break it up between two sections, zero to 80% charging and then 80% to 100%. From zero to 80%, the Q4 e-tron took 38 minutes and averaged just about five miles of range added for every minute of charging. Now that changes dramatically once 80% state of charge is reached. Now from 80% to 100%, it took 26 minutes. And that comes out to less than two miles of range added for every minute of charging. This disparity is very common when DC fast charging EVs. And it's why manufacturers as well as charging networks recommend unplugging your EV once the vehicle reaches 80% state of charge. And that's because it's just not worth waiting any longer since the vehicle charges so slowly once it's more than 80% charge. I also recommend unplugging at 80% unless you need that extra range to make your destination. All right, so as you can see, the Q4 e-tron is not the best charging electric vehicle available today. But it's not terrible either, and I think it would be fine on a road trip. I definitely recommend unplugging when you get to 80% if you don't need that extra range to make it to your destination or to the next charger, because as you could see, the miles per minute really slows down once you get over 80% state of charge. It's not terrible up to 80%, definitely could be better, but it's not terrible. But then once you get over 80%, it really slows up. So I would definitely recommend unplugging. Listen, if this is your first time here at State of Charge, please don't forget, click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming electric vehicle news and reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.